I always say, I'm not gonna not read a book. I'm gonna push through, but your girl couldn't push through this one, so. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another unhaul video. I recently got a brand new shelf. So my mom said in order to get a shelf, I had to go through all of the ones that I already owned and get rid of a couple of books that I just am not gonna read and have no interest in anymore because I've been saying I'm gonna do it for the longest time and just had no motivation, but that shelf was that motivation. So, so this is part two of going through those shelves. I've gone through three of them now, still have two more to go. So expect another unhaul video after this one sometime when I finally get around to that. But without further ado, let us get started. So the first book I have is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I know I'm getting rid of Gillian Flynn's book, but I tried to read this like two years ago when my brother bought this for me for Christmas. I think it was like 2015 and I just have no interest in it. I watched the movie before I read the book and I have like a pet peeve of knowing what's gonna happen in books because I'm like... I already know what's happening what's the point so that was one of these cases so we're just we're getting rid of it because it's been sitting on my shelf half read for the longest time and it's one of those stupid trade paperbacks shorter than all the other books books and I just know the next book I have I think I kept because my mom really liked the story and she was like you need to read this and I was like okay and it's been sitting on my shelf since 2015 so like it's clearly not gonna happen it's 2019 like yeah but it is a, My Sergei, A Love Story by Ekaterina Gordiva. I'm pretty sure it's a true story and they're skating and the guy or the girl dies on the ice or something. I don't know, but it's a true story and I just have no interest in it, so. <clears throat> the next book I think I bought because I thought the title was funny. I was like 14, okay? Like, you'll see what I mean when I show it, but it's Tasteful Nudes by Dave Hill and my 14 year old brain thought it was hilarious and so I bought it but it's been sitting on my shelf for that long. It's like the autobiography of some comedian who I have no idea who they are so like <sighs> you know just <sighs> the next book I have I got sent for review like two years ago and I still haven't read it so I feel like the author is probably given up on me. I just don't want to read it because I would have picked it up by now but it is Clara Mandrake's Monster by Ibrahim S. Amen. It sounds really interesting but I just it's been sitting there forever so I'm clearly not gonna do it because I'm a terrible person. I'm sorry. The uh, next book is kind of the same boat as the last one was supposed to review it. It's been like two years, haven't done it, haven't heard from the author telling me I should read it so I'm hoping that they forgot but it's uh, Felix by Jay Flaherty. I like your name, Jay, but I just haven't read your book like I was supposed to. I'm sorry. <laughs> the next book I won off of Goodreads in 2015, I read half of it and I just found it so boring and I was super excited because it sounds really cool, but it just was so boring, nothing happened. But it's The Pendulum by Adam Hamdi. It sounds really cool because it's about this guy who like wakes up during this guy trying to murder him and he's trying to like frame it as a suicide but he wakes up so like it doesn't work but it's like crazy man it's crazy but it just it's boring nothing happened and I was so disappointed I read up to like 300 pages and it's like 600 pages or something and I just can't get into it so the next book I think I bought because I thought the cover was really cool but I read the back of the book and I'm just not gonna read it. It doesn't, it doesn't fancy my interests. It is Life Unexploded Diagram by Mal Pete and it's like a World War or something book. I'm not into that, so I don't know why I bought it. Maybe it has like pictures in it. No, it doesn't have any pictures, so I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know, man. I don't know. The next book is like the eighth in the series, so your girl don't got time to go find the first seven in the series, so we're just gonna get rid of it. But it's Cherub Mission 8. You know, that, that should have given me the hint. Mission 8, but no. Jay doesn't think this way. I was just like, cool cover. But it's by Robert Muchmore. And I wish for much more for this book. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? I'm tired. The next book I won off of a Goodreads giveaway, read the back. I'm never gonna read it. It's like a historical fiction book. Yo girl don't read historical fiction books. But it's Celine's Landing by Steve Seagal and it's like Nazis and shit and there's stuff falling out of it. So whoever buys it from the thrift store is also gonna get whatever just fell out of there. 
not gonna look at it. The next book I have is like second or third in the series or something like that so it sounds really good but I ain't got time for that. It's Breaking Point by Kristen Simmons. I think there's like one book before this one but sadly I'm too lazy to go find it. The next book I have is Spoils by Tamar Stein. I looked it up on Goodreads and it said that it was like a Christian fiction. I'm not religious in any way. I'm not going to read it because I'm not going to know what's going on based off of the religion stuff. Whenever I read a religious book I sit there and I'm like, huh? So I have so many other books that I can read and actually understand. So that's my logic behind this. The next book I have is one that I really wanted because a lot of people read it and said that it was really funny, but it's been sitting on my shelf since like 2015, so clearly I didn't want to read it that badly. But it's Let's Pretend This Never Happened, a mostly true memoir by Jenny Lawson. I don't even know who Jenny Lawson is, so like... <sighs> the next book I have I think I bought solely because it has a dog on it and your girl has an obsession with dogs But it's the dog park club by Cynthia Robinson. I looked it up on Goodreads. It has like one star review average So it's clearly not a good book So I'm not gonna waste my time reading about the doggo. The next book I have is a historical fiction Like I said, I don't read historical fiction So I probably bought it because I thought the dress was pretty but it's four sisters all queens by Sherry Jones I'm never gonna read it so it's going to the thrift store. The next book I have is like the third in the series or something and like the other books that I have from different series I don't got time to try to find the beginning of the series so it's The Bad Tuesdays Strange Energy by Benjamin J. Myers. I think I bought it because I liked how pink the cover was to be honest so. I need to start doing research before I buy books because clearly I have no idea what series things are to and I just buy things for the sake of buying things. I really know how to budget my money, okay? And then the final book I have is the second in a series. I'm not gonna try to find the first one. It's Cat Spa by Joan Devinge. And honestly, I read the back of the book and I was just like, I wouldn't have read this anyway, so why did I do this to myself? I don't know. All right guys, so that was my little unhaul video. I guess it wasn't that little compared to my other unhaul videos, but I will probably have another one up once I go through my other shelves, so let me know down below if you guys have read any of these, what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!